Invite you to rise if you are able for a barhu. Continue um, responsibly in the regular print and the italics. As day departs, as the dark of night descends, we lift our eyes to the heavens in awe and wonder, our hearts cry out. Eternal, Eternal God, God, how, how majestic, majestic is your name in all the earth. A vast universe, who can know it? What mind can fathom it? We look out to the endless suns and ask, what are we? What are our hopes and our dreams? What, what are we that you are mindful of us? What, what are we that you should care for us? Yet, with, mm, sorry. Yet within us abides a measure of your spirit. You are remote, but oh, how near, ordering the stars in the vast solitudes of the dark yet whispering in the mind that you are closer than the air we breathe. With love and awe we turn to you, and in the dark of evening seek the light of your presence. For you have made us little less than divine, and crowned us with the glory and honor.
Continue responsively again in the regular print and the italics. All this we hold to be true and sure you alone are our God. There is none else. And we are Israel, God's people. You are our, our ruler. ruler. You, you deliver, deliver us from, from the hand of oppressors and save us from the fists of tyrants. You do wonders without number, marvels that pass our understanding. You, you give, give us our life and by your help we survive, survive all who seek our destruction. destruction. You did wonders for us in the land of Egypt, miracles and marvels in the land of Pharaoh. You, you led, led your people Israel out forever, forever to serve you in freedom. When your children witnessed your power, they extolled you and gave you thanks. Freely they acclaimed you ruler and full of joy. Moses and all Israel sang this song.
Sabbath has descended, enfolding us in its mantle of peace. It brings to us the precious gift of time. Time to embrace family and friends, to reflect more deeply on the meaning and purpose of our lives, and to worship in the beauty of holiness. May our Sabbaths always be sanctuaries of love and devotion, bringing contentment to our hearts, happiness to our homes, and blessings to our people. We continue with the Amidah, the standing prayer. I invite all those who are comfortable in doing so to please rise. Adonai, Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, 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 Abraham, Eloheinu, Yitzchak, Eloheinu, Yaakov, Eloheinu, Sarah, Eloheinu, Rivka, Eloheinu, Rachel, Eloheinu, Leah, Ahel, Agadol, Agibor, Hanora, El Elyon, Gomel, Chasadim, Tovim, Vekone, Yaakov, Vizokhe 
Mechayeha kolata rav lehoshia, Moshiva ruach murida gashem, Mechakeo chayim bechesed, Mechayeha kol berachamim rabim, Zomech noflim verofech olim, Omatir asurim, Omekayim emunato, continue with Seder Kriyata Torah, the service for the reading of the Torah. Um, we're going to be reading in the book of Exodus tonight, um, and I invite everyone to please stand if you are comfortable in doing so in honor of the Torah. <laughs> Oh. 
blue book in the rack in front of you in addition to the slender blue book, um, I believe you should be able to turn to page 420 where you will find Exodus chapter 6 verse 2 um, and our Torah reader for today is Dan Gilbert. Thank you, Dan. Um, and I think we'll do a group yep. aliyah. Let's do a group aliyah today. We're going to join together in the Aliyah for Torah. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamborach, Baruch Adonai Hamborach Le'olam Vahed, Baruch Hat Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim, Benatan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Hat Adonai Notein HaTorah. Vayadaber Elohim El Moshe Vayomer Elav Ani Adonai Vayera El Avraham El Yitzhak Vayel Yaakov Vayel Shaddai Ushmi Adonai Lo Nodati Lahem Lahem Viga Vigam Hakimoti et Breti Otam Otam La Tate Lahem Eid Eretz Canaan Eid Eretz Migurahim Asher Gera Geruva. Thank you. We join together in the blessing. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, vehaye olam natan betochinu, Baruch atah Adonai, notein ha-Torah. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Two things. One, if you would like to read Torah some Friday night or Saturday morning, talk with Cantor Alexander. She can help you with that. Number two, um, if you would like to have uh, an Aliyah to the Torah to be able to think, uh, to be able to commemorate an event or celebrate a birthday or remember somebody, let us know. We can make arrangements for that as well. And finally, it is a custom that while the Torah is out, we say blessings on behalf of those who are in need of healing, healing of body, healing of spirit as a congregation. And I invite those in on Zoom to please put names of ones that you're remembering into the chat. Um, as a congregation, we are keeping in mind Susan Alexander, Susie Anderson, Hal Arnold, Virginia Becker, Tony Baraldi, Jean Brosco, Lisa Brunkhorst, Gildardo Carrera, Sandy Christofferson, Kevin Cooper, Jen Dawson, Ariana Elness, Rabbi Sim Glazer, Jody Goldstein, Robbie Hoskovic, Judy Kaiman, Karen Levin, Norma Levinson, Mike Liddy, Mario Lopez, Gary Marshall, Brandy Matson, Emily McWhorter, Carmen Munn, Brian Nog, Pedro Comi Olimpio, 
Nadine Ostro, Karen Euler, Wendy Passer, Gail Peterson, Jamie Poole, Linda Redler, Steve Redler, Samuel Rosinski, Emily Sachs, George Sachs, Gregory Sachs, Steve Seglin, Joan Shapiro, Linda J. Sherman, Dee Dee Spiegel, Sarah Jane Tietzel, Laura J. West, Barb Wig, Brent Wine, Kate Yule, I'll add the name Harav Khanna Rachel, but Rosa. Are there others that we're keeping in mind from people who are in the sanctuary this evening? And to those names, we add um, Shellen Babandur, Sandra Rosenberg, Marcy Murphy, um, Diana Aitz Hoken, um, Bob Diskin, Gloria Ellis, Sophie Bliss. For all those that we've named and for all those that we keep close in our hearts, um, we ask for God's healing blessings. everyone who's comfortable in doing so to please stand in honor of the Torah as we lift and dress the Torah scroll. <laughs>
please be seated. I have always asked questions. As I was growing up, my parents were more likely to ask me, did you ask good questions? Then, how was school today when I came home from school? I remember being eager to be the one to ask the four questions at the Seder. It didn't take long before I figured out that the answers to my questions would be determined to some extent by who I asked or to notice that some people always answer a question with a question. As a teacher, I've always tried to encourage my students to ask questions. When we think about questions rather than answers, we approach learning and knowledge differently. An emphasis on questions is part of Jewish text study. When we study Jewish texts, we begin with our own questions of the text in front of us. We then move to the commentaries where the answers to these questions may be, along with the answers to questions that we hadn't even considered. When we are examining the commentaries themselves, a suggested approach is to ask, what is the question that this commentator is answering? By emphasizing questions rather than answers, we begin to value the journey more than the destination and soon see that we are learning more in looking for an answer than in learning the answer. Each year at Passover, an emphasis on questions is formalized and made part of the Seder as the four questions. We spend our time at Seders with questions formal and informal, but there is a fifth question built into the Seder, and it arises from our Torah portion this week, Parashat Va'era. Besides the four questions and the four children, another four in the Seder is the four cups of wine that we drink to correspond with the four promises that God makes to us in Exodus chapter 6. I will free you from the labor of the Egyptians. I will deliver you from their bondage. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and through extraordinary chastisements. I will take you to be my people, and I will be your God. I will bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I will give it to you as as a possession. Just as the four questions don't really seem to be four questions, but one question with four statements, this series of four promises seems to be different than advertised. How many promises are there? Five? Seven? Which would be one for each verb. For the rabbis, the promise is number five, four of which would, were fulfilled and one of which would be fulfilled in the future. The problem was that the question of the number of cups of wine to drink at the Seder couldn't be resolved to anyone's satisfaction. <laughs> so how many cups of wine are there at the Seder? Four and a question. Four cups we drink, and the fifth cup is in the center for Elijah the prophet and to function as sort of a string around our finger to remind us of something so that we don't forget. Elijah the prophet is the one who will bring advance word of the Messiah or the Messianic age and the final redemption. That's why we invite him to every Seder and every bris and sing about him at the end of Shabbat. We are looking to the day when the final, final promise will be fulfilled. Elijah is also the one who will answer the questions that we can't. When the rabbis at the time of the Talmud came up against a whopper of a problem that they were unable to solve, they um, would record the discussion and then say teku, which is an acronym for Elijah will solve such puzzles and problems. So Elijah's cup is not just there for him to drink from, but to remind us of the first question we want to ask him when he arrives. 
It is vital to us as Jews to question and wrestle with problems. And it is inevitable that we will face insoluble questions. But we need to remember that there is nothing beyond questioning, not even God. We are Israel, which comes from the Hebrew word meaning, he will wrestle with God. Our questions about God and our relationship with God as individuals and as Jews are part of our wrestling and therefore part of who we are. We may not get the answers to our questions until Elijah comes, but until then there is much to learn from the process of questioning because the journey is more important than the destination. And we gain more in looking for an answer than in learning the answer. Besides, who knows when Elijah will come? We now begin to conclude our service. And I invite those who are comfortable in doing so to please stand. I feel like I need to sing Eliyahu Hanavi. We could <laughs> sing Eliyahu Hanavi. I don't if you have want. it on the slide, but it feels really necessary. <laughs> let's do it. I, I just, yeah, I think we have to. So let's join together. Eliyahu Hanavi. Eliyahu Hatishvi. Elijah reminds us of all the many questions that are his to answer, and Elenu reminds us that while we are not different from those around us, we do have a special relationship with God, and we do have special obligations, and that is the words of the Elenu, that we should find a way to fulfill our special obligations. Alleno le shabach la don hakol la tet gedola le otzer brishit shelo sanuk le goyer asot velo samanuk mishpachot adama shelo samachelkinu kahem vegoralinu kechol hamonam veanach. come now to our time of memory, our time of remembering, the recitation of Kaddish. As a community, we are in the period of Shiva, the first seven days of mourning for Sally Priestman Teltner. We are in the period of Shloshim, the first 30 days of mourning for Lawrence, Lauren Dexter Deal, and Adam Skog. We remember the yard sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Leah Himmelbloom Adelstein, Charles Uncle Chuck Arnold, Abe Baker, David Beryl Bernstein, Lillian Bierner, Frederick S. Kassman, 
Gerald Philip Cohn, Rose G. Cohn, Mark H. Epstein, Harold Paul Farber, David P. Fetter, Paul Fine, D. Ann Fleischman, Jaime Gendler, Justin M. Greenberg, Marion B. Gross, Gladys Brandeis Jacobs, Evelyn D. Katz, Donald Klein, Corrine Cavaras Levin, Samuel Mandelson, David Markle, Esther Milder, Myron Mike Milder II, Gertrude Tatel Newman, Miriam Elizabeth Pelk, Ruth E. Raskin, Morris Ricks, Ben L. Rosen, Augustus Rothholtz, Minnie E. Spiesberger, Fanny Spiesberger, M.S. Mack Trachtenbarg, Miriam S. Waldbaum, Bertha Weintraub, Sam Wertheimer, Lucille F. Zelinsky. Are there others that we keep in mind at this time of memory? If you um, are in the sanctuary, please stand up and share their name out loud now. Those on Zoom tonight are remembering Rita Arnold and Mira Perlin. As we invite everyone present to stand as you're comfortable in doing so in support of the mourners of our community, we keep in mind those that we've named and those that we hold close in our hearts. Yitkadal v'yitkadash Tushbechata venechamata, da amiran belma vimru amen. Nehe shlama rabba min shmaya, the chayim alenu vel kol yisrael, nimru amen. O se shalom in ramav, huya se shalom, alenu vel kol yisrael, vel kol yoshve tevel, nimru amen. Please be seated. I am going to invite all of the members of our Board of Trustees to please stand and wave to everyone. Um, they are all handily marked with little name tags and if you want them to know something, please find one of them and tell them. They're happy to listen to you tonight. That's what they're here for. Oh, they're also here to pray, but they're, they're here to, to, to hear from you. Um, I want to say a thank you to Julie Sandine for your lovely accompaniment tonight, um, to Scott Anderson for all of his work in the back of the house uh, with Mindy Marburg. Um, Eli Lopez is doing tech tonight. Um, our security is um, Derek. Our ONIG volunteers include Gail Knapp and Alana Linthicum. Um, and our Zoom maven is Karen Euler. Tubishvat is sooner than you think. We've planned a multi-generational Seder for February 5th at 11.15 a.m. This is the last week to sign up, so please do so by next Friday. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Tubishvat Seder, is it, a, it is a celebration of all things involved with trees, so all sorts of different food that comes from trees and stories about trees and songs about trees. It is treed up to the max. <laughs> um, and if you, you're puzzling at that word multi-generational, so anybody who is currently here in the sanctuary at this very moment, from the youngest baby to our most senior elder, and I'm not pointing anybody out, <laughs> you're all invited. There are two new adult education opportunities coming up. Rabbi Azriel will be teaching about familial responsibilities beginning this Sunday at um, 10, 15 a.m. 
um, and then followed the, by the next Sunday, January 29th. I'm going to be teaching an online class about the Book of Legends on January 31st and February 14th. Tomorrow night at 7 p.m., the community is invited to the JCC to a, participate in a conversation with Maharat Rory Picker Nice about racial justice and how we can improve relations with our black neighbors. We are also excited to add that Rabbi Berezin will be a part of this too. Save the date for Purim. Help us solve a mystery as we present a Purim-themed whodunit Shabbat. Enjoy a meal and Shabbat music throughout the evening as we delve deeper into the ending for Haman and discover the identity of the masked executioner. Was it Queen Esther? Was it the king's butler? Was it Haman's 11th son? There's only one way to find out who done it. Our RSVP, uh, the RSVPs, the signups to attend will begin soon, and we are looking for people to help. If you are interested in being a participant slash actor in our Who Done It Shabbat, please reach out to Mindy Marber. You could be Queen Esther. You could be the King's Butler. You could be Haman's eleventh son. There's all sorts of possibilities. So we are going to now conclude. We and Kelohenu. But first is Kiddush. Oh, we have see. to do Kiddush. Yes, we do. I'm sorry I missed that. That's when I was okay. Looking. We invite you to rise if you are moved. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Borei Perihagafen Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedeshanu B'Mitzvotai Verasav Anu V'Shabbat Kodesho B'Yahav Rasoni L'Nichilanu Zikaron L'Masei V'Reshit Ki hu yom tehila le mikrai kadesh zecher letziat mitzrayim ki vanu vacharta v'yotanu ki dasha mikol amim v'shabat kochecha ve'avav ratzon hinchaltanu baruch atadonai mekadesh hashabat l'chaim. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech olam hamotzi lechem in haaretz so what I love about Ein Kelohenu is, is that in itself it is a prayer. Because if you put the first letters of the first three verses, it spells out the word Amen. The fourth verse is the word Baruch. And the last verse just starts with Ata. So it's Amen and Baruch Ata. We are always praying. Beautiful. Shabbat Shalom.